Good morning and welcome back everybody to Honor Small Business Week. Food and lifestyle expert, we love her, Pei Chen, is here with great local businesses that pair perfectly together and that could use more support than ever. Pei, I'm so excited about this and I want you to get through all of them. Okay. As you mentioned, it has been a really difficult few months for these businesses, and it's not really going to get better anytime soon. Yeah. So I think what we can do is think of the businesses that are near us and support them whenever possible. So I wanted to highlight some great ones in the GTA that uh, could use your love and support. Good Cheese, they are a wonderful little shop in East Chinatown. As the name implies, they carry cheese, not just good, but great ones. Also, all your charcuterie needs, you can order online, uh, and they have also wonderful pantry items. So beautiful baguettes from Blackbird Bakery. They carry a lot of local products as well. You can find eggs and yogurt, uh, milk there as well, and all kinds of gourmet pantry items like your nice olive oils, um, your vinegars. So great selection, a wonderful shop to support. Beautiful. Bellwoods Brewery I love as well. So they uh, started in 2012 downtown Toronto as a small brewery and pub. Now since then they've grown to include two production facilities where they um, where they brew a wide range of beers. I wanted to highlight uh, the Jelly King for a couple of reasons. One, I love the name. I also love the labels that they have. And it's a really easy drinking beer. It's, uh, it's not too bitter. It has nice, fruity, juicy notes of fuzzy peach and tangerine. And all of this is a great example of Pair It Forward, which is a chain reaction to support small businesses that uh, the LCBO has started. Because the whole idea is that we want to support Ontario makers and producers. And the best way to do that is to tell people about it and share it. So hashtag Pair It Forward is a great way to show off your favorite um, restaurant, bakery, little boutique, and let other people discover it as well. And hopefully just keep the momentum going. Yeah. Small businesses rely on that. K Dumps. So Ken Yao is a very talented Toronto chef. He was doing pop-up dinners under the name K Dinners. That's where I met him at the beginning of the year. But obviously COVID has changed that. So now he's doing frozen dumplings that he makes himself. Mm. And he also delivers for free in the GTA. So his website, kdinners.com, you can go on there. These are those beautiful pork and chive dumplings. Um, he also does a chicken and shiitake, a vegan version as well. Um, and he's inspired by his travels and learning to cook from his mother. So here, for example, is a bag of his golden dumplings. Kitten and the Bear is the sweetest little shop in Parkdale that I absolutely love. COVID has changed how they do business, just like with everyone else. Sure. They're known for their French-style fruit preserves. They use a lot of local fruit, support many um, small farmers as well. So what pairs better that, with that than freshly baked buttermilk scones? Mm. You can actually pre-order online and then uh, do a curbside pickup at the shop. So you, what you can also do, though, is they sell um, frozen mini buttermilk scones, which you can bake off in 30 minutes. So I baked this morning and now I have this platter of warm buttermilk scones. Always great to have too, just as something that you can like pull out a couple if you want to bake them. So I love that. And I love the idea of like pairing things together. So here we've got some really beautiful home goods from Rose City Goods. Now they are a um, home and kitchen shop based in Toronto's West End. And I love this shop because 70% of their vendors are Canadian. Over 80% of the products they carry are by female artists and entrepreneurs. So supporting a shop like this means you're also supporting other women, other artists. Um, and for example, these tea towels, they're by Ten & Co. They're designed in Toronto. And these uh, glass tumblers, they are made of recycled. They are made of recycled glass, hand-blown as well. So I also think we're not seeing people in person as much as we would like. So why not send them a gift? You can shop online. Pair this together with Mary's Brigadeiros. So Mary, she grew up in Sao Paulo, Brazil, where her mom taught her how to make these beautiful, traditional Brazilian chocolate truffles. Gorgeous. So Mary then immigrated to Canada in 2015, opened a shop on the Danforth near Woodbine, and she's making these handcrafted uh, brigadeiros in the way that she was taught. And I think how lucky are we to have someone like this come to our city and open up this beautiful shop and make these delicious treats. And the idea is really to pay it forward and pair it forward, uh, Dina, by pairing uh, their Ontario products and vendors together and just supporting these small businesses as much as we can. You find the best spots, Pay. I don't know how you do it at Pay Chen because she will make sure we know about it because that's the biggest struggle is how do you get the exposure and the word out about your amazing product. So do that at Pay Chen and make sure you support those local businesses whenever you can. It's gorgeous. It's almost too pretty to eat, but 
It's also delicious. No, so I'll do be, it. Uh, yeah, it would be a shame not to eat it, really. Thanks so much, Pay. Stay safe, Sweet Pea. Hope to see you sometime aside from this way. And make sure you check out at Pay Chan and breakfasttelevision.ca for more.